the kind of society that uh, is going to be in the future depends on the type of culture that the people have set now. And I am happy that you have come here to learn how important the culture we set in our schools will affect our children. I am very sure the moment I arrive in my school, it will definitely be realized that I was somewhere and I attended a course. Really, as a person, first of all, I have just felt like, oh, I want to be different. And one thing I would wish that when I get back to my school is to remove this monster tag from me and to just make myself available to the students, warm to the students, welcoming to the students. You know, let them see a different teacher in me, a teacher that they can confide in, a teacher that they can run to, and I want to impact something into their lives. When you are appointed as a principal, you have no formal training. No formal training. You are simply given the keys to the office, or you are given an appointment letter to become a principal. You are not trained to become a principal. But a principal has got so many things that he's supposed to do. You are the accounting officer, you are um, the lead of the group, you are supposed to do almost everything, like in the area of accounting. Can you imagine you don't even understand issues to do with accounting, <clears throat> but you are expected to account. So I want to believe uh, that Strathmore University has offered us something that is very, very relevant to us. We are learning some things which we should have learned at the beginning of our appointment. <clears throat> we are very grateful because of that. I think uh, as a person I will be able to go back a better principal than what I've been throughout these five years that I've been a principal. My name is uh, Florence Naliaka Kupsoboy, Principal St. Teresa's Girls, Cheptoro, a school in uh, Mount Elgon uh, serving the marginalized Ndorobo girls. In Stratmore University, I have learned a lot of things which I want to go and take back home to those uh, simple Ndorobo girls. I want them to look smart. That's the first thing I'll go and teach them about. Already I've been doing, but I'm going to perfect it. Uh, I've also looked at the workers in Stratmore. Uh, the girls serving us at the, uh, the cafeteria are so nice. I'll dress my workers just the same way. I feel strong that if we raise the humanists, and especially our levels of uh, hygiene in our schools, especially in the dormitories and in the toilets, those areas are really neglected. And I'm convinced that if we can uh, make those places very habitable, like we would do for our own children in our homes, these students would have a sense of belonging to their school and begin from there to change their attitude, their thinking, their overall perception of life. It's not only about talking about uh, academic grades and so forth, but thinking about where the students stay, how they relate with one another, how they relate with the teachers. I'm happy that we've got quite good professors who have helped us realize that maintaining a good standard has an impact on the learning of the student. And we see it here practice in Strathmore by the way we interact with the lecturers as well as the students.